Loving you's like kissing a chicken, baby. It's a one way street. Kissing you's like here's the toolkit that comes with every coop. On top, you'll find the instructions, and then inside, you'll find all of the hardware necessary to put your coop together. All you'll need is a cordless drill. Let me show you a little bit about your new coop. Your coop will come with these carabiner clips, and these are just an extra measure of protection to make sure that you've properly latched the doors. But the latches are very sturdy. This is the roost area where the chickens will sleep. You can see the two roost bars up on top here. Chickens instinctively know to sleep in the highest part of the chicken coop, and they'll figure it out on their own where they're supposed to sleep. To clean out the roost area when manure might accumulate, just use a long-handled wired barbecue brush and scoop the manure down through the wire and it will fall down. Doing that keeps the coop smelling clean. Manure that is exposed to air generally doesn't stink and it will keep your chickens from walking through the manure when they go to sleep at night. As you can see, one of the features of the coop is the wire floor. We did that for a couple of reasons. First, this allows air to come up through the bottom and vent out the round vent holes that are in the top. This keeps your chickens much healthier by allowing the air to exchange. You also see here that the ramp door is sized to close off the roost area. If you want to, you can shut your chickens into the roost area simply by closing this ramp door. This is the removable run panel that we designed for easy cleaning. You'll simply take out these hasps, lift the door off of the pins, and then it's very easy to use a rake to clean out the bottom of your coop. This is the egg box where you'll go to collect the eggs. We recommend just putting down a cheap rubber floor mat. Your chickens don't mind. They don't need too much comfort to lay eggs and you kind of want to encourage them not to hang out in there. Again, similar to the roost bars where chickens know instinctively to sleep in the highest spot, they know to lay in the darkest area, which is this nest box here. If you do want to clean out the nest box, it's very easy. Take out your tray and again use your wire brush to clean it out or you can hose it out. Every once in a while a hen will break an egg inside the nest box and make a sticky mess and this makes it easy to keep it clean. A feature on this nest box that you'll see is we mounted the thumb latches upside down to allow gravity to help us to make sure that the door stays shut just in case you might forget to completely latch it. Another feature of our coops is the Galvaloom roof. Galvaloom is a patented coating put on the metal roofing materials that reflects heat to keep your chickens cooler and it won't rust. You can also see here that we used stainless steel screws with rubber washers so that it won't rust and it keeps the interior of the roost watertight. Our coops are made with 100% western red cedar. Cedar is a great material for outdoor use. You can leave it as is and it will eventually weather to a soft gray color or you can stain it or paint it. We have customers do all kinds of fun things with their coops. We use heavy duty bolts and washers on our coop. One nice thing about using heavy duty fasteners is that you can take your coop apart if you move. Um, you can take your coop apart and reassemble it somewhere else. All of the joints on our coop are glued and mechanically fastened. We use a high quality waterproof glue. This means if you want to wash it, you can without any issues. Here you can see in the side yard we have the water and the feeder. These are optional accessories. They do come with support brackets. It's very easy. You just drop them in. The side yard is handy. It does a couple of things. You can put potted plants to decorate your coop or you can just leave it 
empty and allow the sunlight to disinfect the ground underneath. You can also use it as a storage area, Rubbermaid bin or whatever, put your feed on this side yard storage area to keep it convenient to your coop. We get asked a lot about how predator proof our chicken coops are. One of the things we do to protect your chickens from predators is we use very heavy duty hinges and we throw away the standard screws that come with the hinges and we use longer, heavier duty, exterior rated screws to keep the doors sturdier and keep them from sagging. Throughout the coop we use a heavy duty galvanized welded wire. This keeps your chickens safe from predators being able to tear wire, which sometimes happens with hardware cloth and certainly with chicken wire. This welded wire is super heavy duty and it's used throughout. A lot about how our chicken coops do in cold weather. Chickens are very cold hardy. The only thing that we suggest you do is you place this door away from the prevailing or north winds just to give your chickens a little bit more protection. Otherwise, chickens can withstand extremely cold temperatures without any supplemental heat or anything different or modified with the coop. Here you can see the round vent holes on the coop. These are placed in such a way that your chickens are sleeping below the vent holes. Um, this keeps them out of a direct wind, but it allows air to move within inside the coop, which keeps the moist, cold air from causing respiratory infections in your chickens. One great feature of the coop is you can feed and water your chickens from outside the coop, which means you don't have to bend over or stoop to take care of your chickens. One of the features of the water is that it can accommodate a heater, which will keep your chicken water from freezing. An optional rent extension is also available for your coop. This rent extension doubles the outdoor yard space for your chickens. It can also accommodate an additional feeder and water if you want to increase the capacity of food and water 